Starting off with location, I got my apartment in Business Bay. If you had been watching my Looking for an Apartment series on my channel, you would see that I went to so many different neighborhoods in Dubai, but I ended up settling in Business Bay. Business Bay is one of the more popular locations for expats, as well as people who are working in Dubai's International Financial Center. It's a really good location. Got the skyscraper skyline, lots of tall buildings, so many restaurants, so many things to do. Where I was staying was also a 10, 10 to 15 minutes walk from downtown. Um, so downtown is where like the Burj Khalifa is, where Dubai Mall is. So this is the street that my apartment was on. And if you took this left, then that is the street that the Dubai Mall is on. So it's close enough for a walk, but it's also far enough that you're not in the middle of the hustle and bustle of downtown. And one of the things I also really, really loved about my apartment in particular is that it was along the Dubai Canal. From my reception, which you can see here, there's always security on the left-hand side as well. Right through on the other side, you can actually walk straight out to the canal. This is the view at night. It is absolutely incredible. It is the perfect place to go for a walk. You also see lots of people going for a run or riding their bike. And you can actually reach quite a few places in Business Bay through this walkway. So my apartment was actually around 650 square feet. It was a one bed and it was a relatively big one bed. I would say that there was a lot of space there that was not used and not utilized and I would have preferred a smaller place, but I will show you guys why I didn't end up going for the smaller unit. So when I was viewing apartments in the building, I had a choice of my current apartment or this one, which was on a higher floor, but it's much smaller. They were both the same price, but the reason why I didn't choose this one is because of this. This one section below the oven was both the fridge and the freezer. Maybe that would have been fine if you were someone who all you ate was takeaway, but for me, it was definitely a no. It did have a great view of the Burj Khalifa though, which I would have enjoyed. With regards to amenities, I feel like in for my general liking, and let's say compared to the apartment that I'm in now, the amenities were standard. So swimming pool, kiddies pool, and a gym. The gym wasn't a very good gym. If you were really serious about the gym, or if you like, like to use those of different equipments, you'd probably still wanna get a gym membership. This is my gym. So I didn't get the chance to do a tour of our podium level because as I mentioned, it was move out day and I did not have time, but I do have some videos on my phone that I will show you. So as well as having the gym on the podium level, we also had a swimming pool and then like a mini kiddies pool and having both of these amenities were super, super helpful. I actually took Three, quite a few swimming two, lessons from my friends one. in this pool and I am still not a good swimmer. Only the mummy waters know how to do this. <laughs> when I moved in, I was the first one to stay in my particular apartment. And it's super nice. It's got floor to ceiling, windows, so, so much natural light comes in. And the floors were marble tiles. And that was gorgeous, especially when the light hit it. I love the clean interior. It was like mostly, mainly, mainly white, black and gray, which is a, you know, a safe color scheme to go with. However, even though it was a nice new apartment, the appliances, you guys, it was Grenje or something. I don't know, I'm probably saying it very wrong, but the worst appliances, like they looked old. They actually looked old. Like I'll show you guys like my, what my washing machine looks like. And they just worked like crap. Like the fridge broke down and I was the first one to use it. Like it was broken, I had to replace it. Even the cooker was like, it just wasn't great. So that's one thing that I would say, just because an apartment like looked nice you should definitely check the appliances to see if it matches that one thing i really really loved about my apartment is that it came with the tv so the tv um and like the speaker beneath it came comes with all of the apartments um in that building which is great because i actually got a furniture package so i didn't go and shop for all the individual like couch dining table bed mattress in my apartment i got a furniture package and so as soon as they came in with the furniture package the only thing that they don't provide in the furniture package is obviously appliances and so because i had a fully fitted kitchen and a tv once they came in with my furniture package my whole apartment was done i didn't need to do anything else it was such a smooth transition into um, the apartment i also did do a video um on this so you can actually see that i'll put that in the cards right here the only thing i did end up having to buy was a microwave and then an air fryer one of the benefits of having an, a non-furnished apartment 
is the price is typically lower. Um, for In some cases, it makes a huge difference, like maybe like 20,000 AD. That was a huge benefit for me that I, because I just wasn't finding furnished apartments that was to my taste. If you also want to reduce the price, one of the things that you can do is offer to pay your rent in less checks. So typically you'd either have like four checks, two checks or one checks, which means you either pay your rent in four installments. So you pay for three months at a time. You pay it twice, representing six months, um, or you just pay your whole rent upfront, which is one check, which is what I did. But I was able to negotiate the price down by 10,000 um, dirhams by just saying that, hey, I can pay this in one check. And I was able to do that because I got a housing allowance from my company. I think that's it. I think I would say like the major pros of living in this apartment was the location, was the location. The location was everything. I loved being on the canal. I also loved having Bay Square close by because there was so many shops. My, I did my nails literally across the road. Like it'll probably take me three minutes from my couch to sitting on the chair in my nail shop. I did my eyebrows literally under, like underneath um, my building, I wouldn't say underneath, but a lot of these, a lot of the buildings in Dubai tend to be mixed use. So it might have apartments on the top, but like shops and restaurants down at the bottom. Um, so that was just great. Like there was so much convenience. Um, obviously I loved being a short walk from like Dubai Mall, etc. And I would say, and I also love the floors and I love the lighting. I'd probably say the worst thing was the appliances and maybe the traffic. You do decide to live in business bay the prices are going to be higher than you know other places in dubai that are less central but speaking of the price i know someone's going to ask me how much it was so i want you guys to comment down below how much you think this apartment was either on a yearly basis or on a monthly basis i'll just work it out in either ad or pound and whoever comes closest i will just say okay yeah this is the most accurate i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give this video a like and i'll see you in my next one bye